kind of decided that, you know what, I don't like to take orders from people. I am interested in sort of building my own thing and uh, realizing my dreams and making a ton of money, doing all that cool stuff, practicing the kind of law that I want to practice uh, and everything that entails. This is the Art of Lawyering Podcast, a show all about making more money, being a badass attorney, and loving your life. The Art of Lawyering is all about becoming the best you possible. Whether you are a law firm owner, an associate attorney, or somewhere in between, this podcast is built to help you get the most out of life. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Art of Lawyering Podcast. If you're here, then you know this is episode one, and um, this is the kickoff show. This is the thing that gets it all started. Um, you know, I want to start, though, before I even get into, you know, who I am or what this podcast is about, I want to let you know that, um, you know, one of the important things for me is to get this message out to as many people as possible and to let as many people know about this as possible. So what I would love for you to do is... Maybe listen to this episode, listen to the next episode, and then go and subscribe to this podcast and leave me a review on iTunes. Um, and, and I want to incentivize you to do that. And the way I'm going to do that is to ask you to, um, uh, actually, I'm going to uh, give you something, basically, or give you the chance to win something if you do that. So I'm going to do a weekly book giveaway, all right? So every week I'm going to give away a book. Um, you know, this, the art of lawyering, which what I'll talk about soon, is, is really about not just about being a great lawyer. It's not about owning a, a great business. It's about all of those things and really becoming and living the life that you want. Okay? It's about achieving your dreams, really. That's what this podcast is all about. And, you know, books have helped me get there. So I figured I would kill two birds with one stone, I'd get some great books in your hands. And uh, I'd also help, you know, help uh, reach more people with this podcast. So uh, what I'm going to do is to, to be eligible for the uh, weekly book giveaway, and it's going to be a different uh, book every week, uh, I, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, and I'm going to ask you to leave a review, okay, and then let me know. And the way that you can let me know is by basically going to uh, theartoflawyering.com forward slash giveaway and then just uh, signing up there there's a form that says um, basically you know did you did you subscribe and leave a review okay great here put your name email address in here and that'll that'll be the way that I know okay and the way this is going to work is you know you can only leave one review that's all I want uh, I want it to be honest so if you don't you can still be eligible to win a book even if you say this show sucks I don't I don't really care uh, about um what you say as long as it's honest you know your feedback is going to be read, read read and received so if you give me something good some, something constructive that I can fix I will fix it um, but once you do that once you enter then you're in there forever um, the way I'm gonna do it though is I'm gonna I'm gonna make each person eligible to receive uh, to win the book every six months because I want to uh, spread the love so you know if you win a book this week then you're gonna to have to wait six months to win another one. Okay, so basically you can have the opportunity to win two books from me a year, which is pretty cool. And they're gonna be awesome books. They're gonna be books on uh, marketing, mindset, leadership, productivity, sort of whatever I'm kind of been reading through, that's what I'm gonna give away. Um, you know, because like I said, these books, I'm a voracious reader. I'm reading uh, typically one or two, three books at a time. And they've made it, they've had a huge impact on my law firm, on my, um, abilities as a lawyer and on me as a person okay uh, so I wanted to you know give that to you I wanted to give you something that that's helped me and so for this first week this first giveaway if you're listening to this you know right away then um, the book I'm going to give away is the e-myth revisited by Michael Gerber and this is the book that is a cornerstone of my uh, business philosophy it's a cornerstone of my mindset, everything. This is a huge book for me, and I can't wait to share it with you. So again, if you want to be eligible to win the book and all the books in the future, you're going to want to go to theartoflawyering.com. Don't forget the the, uh, theartoflawyering.com forward slash giveaway, and 
we can get a get in our chance to win that. Okay, so enough about that. Let's move on. So some of you may uh, know me. I used to have a podcast called uh, the Law Firm Marketing Mastery Podcast. I have recently shut that down and started this. Um, but uh, my name is Christopher Small, and I live in Seattle. I own a law firm. It's called Emerald City Law Group. And um, this whole thing, including this podcast, started for me several years ago when I decided that I wanted to um, open my firm. So I decided, you know, I graduated from law school in 2005, University of Kansas, go Jayhawks, and uh, worked for, for some firms for a little while, kind of decided that, you know what, I don't like to take orders from people, I am interested in sort of building my own thing, and uh, realizing my dreams, and making a ton of money, doing all that cool stuff, practicing the kind of law that I want to practice, uh, and everything that entails. So I decided I was going to open my own law firm. I uh, started looking for resources to help me do that, and there just wasn't a lot of stuff that was out there. Um, so I started my own. I started this blog called um, Starting Your Law Firm. Actually, it started out as how to start a law firm dot blogspot dot com, which I don't think exists anymore. That morphed into Starting Your Law Firm dot com. Which morphed into lawfirmmarketingmastery.com, which now morphed morphed into theartoflawyering.com, and that's kind of just been um, that's happened as I have matured and grown, and the business has taken its course. But to get back to that original thing, there weren't a lot of resources out there that were taking in, that were talking about how to use technology and the internet, and even uh, sort of uh, general business principles to start and build a successful law firm. And I didn't have that background. I was a psychology major in college, and uh, then I went to law school straight after that, and then I went and worked for law firms. So I didn't have any business background, didn't really know how to get clients. I, I, I had been reading some of that stuff um, while I was working for these firms. I dabbled a little bit in internet marketing um, as a side project to make some extra money, and, and I was kind of bored at work sometimes, so got into that, decided that I wanted to start my own thing, build my own thing, and I also wanted to sort of document the process, all right? Um, I wanted to document the, the ups, the downs, the trials, the tribulations, the successes, the failures, the things I was thinking about and, and the decisions that I made. I wanted, to rem I wanted to share all of that so that, you know, people could learn from it and use it to build their own successful law firm and their own successful business. And I also wanted to have it so that I could look back on it sometime and maybe show my kids and, and show people that, that you know, this is a real journey that, that uh, I was going on. It didn't go from zero to success. You know, there were ups and downs and things like that. So I started that, then it's, then it's come all the way around. Well, okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fast forward. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. So uh, I started my law firm in 2009, officially, and what was really cool for me was in 2009, the internet was still sort of the Wild West, even more, way more so than it is now. And with my internet marketing background, I had the ability to kind of help myself with the search engines. So I quickly started ranking for um, keywords related to the practice areas that I wanted to practice in and um, started making some pretty good money. All this time, I, I also, but, but that wasn't it, so I also uh, bought some courses and some programs um, for how to start a, a successful law firm. I got some coaching, um, continued to buy more programs over, over time, um, really decided, I guess, came to grips with the fact that I needed to grow as a person as well um, as grow my business to get the most of it out of it that I wanted and slowly started building the thing up. And, and uh, there were a couple of other big things that happened to me too in 2000 and maybe 11 I want to say Google updated the algorithm big time and and um, if you've been around and, and been paying attention to this kind of stuff then you then you know about that if you don't then it's not that important but basically one day I looked uh, I put some of my Google keywords in there searched like Seattle DUI lawyer and I was off the page I was gone the phone stopped ringing business got really really slow and I, I freaked out for a little bit 
and wasn't sure what to do. And that's when I really, uh, it all clicked for me that, you know, this is a business. I need to have multiple sources of leads, multiple marketing channels, and really dug into it and started, look, started looking at things that were just outside of the internet. Um, so it was about that time too that I, I think that I started the Law Firm Marketing Mastery podcast. Before that, it had just been a blog that I would write in um, from time to time when I had something to say. And um, it was at that time too that I really kind of got interested in sharing a lot of this stuff in a, in a more meaningful way. Meaning, uh, you know, I started a membership site. Uh, really, I uh, started creating some courses. I started doing some coaching and things like that to really share the message because I, I think there's a real lack of that kind of information for lawyers. I think that by our nature and our education and things like that, we, we think a little bit differently than, than most people, are a little bit more risk averse than most people. And it's important to understand where we're coming from when we're trying to make these decisions, when we're trying to do these things. Uh, so that's where we're at. And then we get all the way to today. And so, oh, so, so I started a law firm marketing mastery podcast and, um, actually that's morphing to our, so, so now we're, <coughs> excuse me. So that's, that's kind of, uh, my story in a nutshell. I, um, I'll give you a little bit more, I guess. So you probably want more, um, had my firm 2014. I joined up with a guy, um, and, uh, you know, I, I by that time, I knew that I, and I'm going to talk more about in detail about this, maybe in the next podcast, uh, really dive into this. But, you know, for me, what, what started to be really, really exciting for me was n not so much the lawyer stuff. Um, I began to see that as sort of a technical role that while I wanted to be a good lawyer and am a good lawyer and I'm, and I'm continuing, continuing to work on those skills, um, I became more interested in sort of the organizational aspect of owning and running and building a law firm um, and the idea that you know you can get great lawyers to work with you and for you to handle that aspect of the business okay so I partnered up with a guy and he is 100% interested in the lawyer aspect of things so um, that provided me more time to work on the business side of things. So I still do um, um, some lawyering. I actually just did a, a trial this week, uh, hung jury, followed by a fantastic offer from my client that he took. So that was cool, um, but not so much, not as much anymore. You know, it allows me to focus sort of on the things that I'm interested in and that I um, like. So, so that's where we're at for that. Okay, so that's, my, that's where we're at today. Um, all right, so let's talk about this podcast a little bit. Let's talk about the Art of Lawyering podcast a little bit. What is this podcast? Well, you've heard a little bit about the, the, the growth of starting a law firm, .com, all the way to today. Before it was the Law Firm Marketing Mastery podcast. And what I, what I found was that really didn't en encompass what... I really wanted to talk about it didn't give the whole picture okay because it's not just about marketing for me it's not just about money it's about growth it's about um, growth as a lawyer growth as a person and so I wanted to I wanted to be able to talk about more than just marketing I wanted to be able to talk to successful lawyers in um, an environment where they were free to share their stories where it wasn't all just about business and making money. Where, where if, if it was about more than that, then that then then this would be a good place for that. So I decided to create the art of lawyering, and I call it the art of lawyering because I, you know, it, I feel like there's so much more to it than just being a good lawyer. You know, there's mindset, there is there's that business side of it, there's controlling your life. You know, the the tagline is make more money, be a badass lawyer love love your life and that's what really what this is all about it's about the idea that you can have it all that you can make a lot of money that you can be a great lawyer and that you can also love your life though you can have interests outside of it you can not have to work 100 hours a week you know to to uh, uh, achieve those dreams that you have that you can have both professional and personal success 
So that's really what this podcast is all about. Um, you know, so the format, let's talk about the format a little bit real quick. So the way I'm looking at this is um, there's going to be two episodes every week. Monday is going to be a longer show, probably 30 to 60 minutes in length. It's going to um, include interviews of, of both successful lawyers and people that have um, insight and expertise on topics that I think are important, basically, for, uh, for us as lawyers and law firm owners. Um, there will also be sort of narrative uh, episodes by me where I just deep dive into a talk, topic and talk about my own personal experience and some of the things that I have been doing to achieve success. Um, and the way that that'll probably go is every other week will be interview you know, me talking, interview me talking. Uh, the Monday show is also where I will announce the book winner every week. And then Friday will be a really short, like a five minute episode, just with a quick thought, sort of a quick idea, maybe to take you into the weekend, something to think about and, and work on um, to really just give you that pick me up, you know, give you that support that you need, um, give you that, that, um, that help that you need. By the way, um, I also have a, a Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Art of Lawyering, that I would love you to go and check out and like and participate there too. You know, share your thoughts, ideas. If you have questions, okay, I'm going to be on that page all the time. And I can tell you that having the support of other people and being able to share your your successes and your failures and your thoughts and things like that, that's a big deal. So go check that out. Um, you know, you'll be with your peers, other people that sort of feel the same way, work the same way, think the same way. It's a great place to sort of come together and bond. <clears throat> and even if you don't want to participate, even if you're just liking what other people say, that's that's sometimes enough, you know. But to be able to go there every day and read these stories <clears throat> and hear what other people are saying and just get that support, it's huge. It's huge. And if you don't believe me, then don't go. Uh, but... It, it makes a difference. So um, <clears throat> during the during the so some of the topics that I'll be covering on this podcast are going to include marketing, mindset, leadership, productivity, fear, failure, dreams, management, and you know maybe in sort of everything else under the sun, right? Everything that goes into us becoming our best selves. That's what I want to talk about. All right, because that's important. You know, and there is so much more out there for you than you could ever even imagine. Okay, you can have it all. You can do it. It's going to take some some risks, maybe, maybe not. It's going to take uh, probably changing your beliefs a little bit and changing what you think is possible. But that's why we're here to talk about that, to work through it. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm still doing these things myself, but. Um, I can tell you that the last few years here in my life have been the best. I know the ones that are coming, are coming up are going to be even better. And it's because of some of these things that I have incorporated into my life. Okay, so, you know, um, I just want to, this is totally an introductory kind of a, an episode. And I've been talking for quite some time now. So I want to, uh, don't want to bore you, don't want to drag it out. You know, it's going to be as long or as short as it has to be to sort of get the message across. But I did want to leave you with uh, a couple thoughts. You know, I want I, I want you to just take a couple minutes, take ten minutes, fifteen minutes, and you know, start start this journey. You know, start this change in your life by asking a question. You know, by asking this question or by answering this question. I guess. You know, what does your perfect life look like? You know, what does your ideal day look like? If everything went right. What would that look like? You know, um, do you want to be going to work for 12 hours a day? Do you want to be working for a crappy boss? Do you want to be practicing a different kind of law? Do you want to drive a red Ferrari? Do you want to be a member at the golf course and have a good golf game? Do you want to have a kids? Do you want to have a family? Do you want to spend more time with your kids? Do you want to take month long vacations? You know, what does your life look like if it's perfect? Now, you know, granted, you're going to probably have to have some work involved in there somewhere. You're not going to, you know, your perfect life may just be hanging out at the beach all day. And, and honestly, if you wanted to do that, you could make that happen. Um, but I think for most of the people that are listening to this, there's probably more there. There's probably some professional 
development that that you want to have happen. There's probably some professional achievement that you want to make along with some personal goals that you have. Think about exactly what those are, okay? And and write them down. All right? This is the key. Don't don't just think about it. Write it down. Okay? Make it real. Uh, and you don't have to share this with anyone, by the way. I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to ask you when, at the end of this to share this with me. I don't even want to know. I want this for now, just to be between you and you only. Don't share it with your wife or your spouse or your your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your parents or anyone. Keep it to you, but write it down someplace. Okay. Write down what that perfect life looks like. All right. And 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 a couple of other thoughts. You know, dream big. Okay. Don't. Hold yourself back by thinking, ah, this could never happen. Okay, that's not the point of this exercise. The point of this exercise is everything is possible. What does your perfect life look like? And one other sort of word of advice or caution, I guess, is don't um, don't use labels. Describe it, okay? So, for example, if you say, I want to be a partner at a law firm, you know, why? Why do you want to be a partner at a law firm? What does that, what does that get you? You know, how do you feel that on when you when you reach that that place? What are the things that you get to do on a daily basis because of that position? What are the things that you get to do with your life because you're there, right? So don't just um, think about the position. Think about the why. All right. Um, and then the, then what I want you to do is after you write this down, okay, and, and the more specific that you can be, the better. Get as specific as you can. You know, what kind of coffee are you drinking in the morning? That kind of thing. What time are you waking up? What do you do when you wake up? Do you have to go to work right away? Do you get to pick when you go to work? Do you get to work at night if you want? Who, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever that is. Do you, what kind of what kind of car do you drive? I talked about that. Where, where do you live? What's your neighborhood like? You know, what, are your na- what do you do for fun? All that kind of stuff, okay? Write this down, right? And then what I want you to do is put this in a place, maybe on your phone someplace, some, hidden someplace where you can look at it. But every morning when you wake up, I want you to... to Look and read through that description, okay? And then I want you to ask yourself, you know, what am I going to do today to move towards that life? Okay, and you just need to do one thing, one thing. Today. What am I going to do today to move toward that life, okay? Is it going to be a change in your mood, you know? Is it going to, are you going to be, just decide that something is not going to bother you anymore? Are you going to do something specific? Are you going to start doing something differently? Are you going to wake up 10 minutes and read, and read that book that you know is gonna, gonna, you know, sort of help you change that mindset, or give you that productivity tip, or give you that um, extra lawyering tip that you're gonna be able to use. Are you gonna stop doing something? Okay, are you gonna stop doing something that doesn't get you, that that's hurting you from getting where you want to go? Whether that is, who knows, right? Um, uh, stopping the negative attitude maybe about something, or deciding that you're gonna give someone a chance. Uh, or maybe stop limiting your beliefs and what you think you can to- what you think you can achieve, right? So just pick one thing a day. Decide that I'm not gonna do. I'm not, I'm gonna change this. And maybe you you pick the same thing um, for several days in a row until you can get to where you need to be, right? Um, but just try that, okay? Stop doing something or start doing something. Change your mood. Something to get to where you want to be. And then finally, okay, so that's it. So do that today. Finally, before I let you go, you know, again, I want to remind you, subscribe and review to this podcast. Um, Leave a review to this podcast. I'd really appreciate it. It's something that helps to get the word out. Um, And and I think that's something that can be really big, really cool for people. It's going to make a big difference in in, in all of our lives. All right, so you can do that again at theartoflawyering.com forward slash giveaway. And I look forward to... Um, talking with you on this podcast moving forward. I look forward to exchanging ideas with you. I look forward to talking to you on the Facebook page. Um, um, you can also find me on Twitter, by the way, at The Art of Lawyering. So go and, and follow me there. Um, you follow me, I'll follow you back, I promise. And uh, just look forward to this journey with you. And I'm really excited, and, and let's get to it. Thanks for listening to the Art of Lawyering podcast. For more great action-packed advice and information, visit theartoflawyering.com.